Drought conditions and a hurricane didn't keep Louisiana farmers from having a really good year. Many of the state's major commodities saw record yields and historically high prices. LSU Ag Center economist Kirk Guidry said good production practices and a lot of luck with the weather helped. We were relatively dry overall, but in, the, in most cases, or in many cases, we got just enough rain to keep the crops growing. Yields for corn, soybeans, rice, cotton, and grain sorghum all set records this year. Drought in other parts of the country kept prices high for all of those commodities, except rice and cotton. Prices have moderated, but Guidry expects them to remain strong. He predicts this will lead to a shift in acreage away from cotton and into corn and soybeans. Acreage also may shift slightly from rice, where low prices this year were helped by good yields. The one thing that can lower production costs per unit the most is an increase in yield, and, and certainly the, those higher yields are going to help. Farmers are still harvesting the state's sugarcane crop, and Selassie says yields have been strong. It's a high production cost commodity, as is rice, so you can't just look at yields and market prices and determine whether growers are better off, but, but by and large, this has been a good year for both of those crops. In 2013, farmers could see a decrease in the cost of raising crops. Guidry says fertilizer prices are down significantly from earlier this year. He doesn't expect the price to stay this low, but says it will likely be lower next year. We, we may see prices trend down here over the next month or so, uh, but once we get into February, March, and certainly into April, uh, that we're going to probably see the increased demand that, that comes on board at that point in time really start to impact prices. Guidry says fuel prices also are projected to be lower in the early part of next year. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.